In this video, I'm gonna show you something that you might not have known about the nickel 335 wide. And honestly, something that makes this defense even better than it already was. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And nickel 335 wide has probably been the best defense in Madden for the better part of the last three to four years, but it's also been pretty much effective as long as it's been in the game. It's been one of the best run defenses, been one of the best pass defenses because of the personnel, but there's something unique about this defense when we get to talking about what you can do from a blitzing perspective, something that's actually really, really interesting, and there's actually a four-man blitz that you might not have known about that I wanted to take a second and break down in this video. Now, if you wanna learn my entire nickel 335 wide defense and why um, I think this defense is very, very effective in ways that you can make it even more effective for certain formations and all of that stuff, we've got a huge ebook on it on our Patreon. Probably got about three hours worth of content breaking down not only how the defense is ran, but how to use it to stop the best offensive and defenses uh, or, or how to use it to stop the best offenses in the game, like compression, bunch, bunch tight end, U trip, spread, trip stud, and all that stuff. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked in the description. Now, today I just want to show you something really cool. So this is kind of a fun defense. And if you didn't know, the Mike Blitz 3 is actually a cover three uh, match matching defense. And it's really a good zone blitz. And I want to show you why it's so good. And there's something really cool you can do with this. So all we're gonna do is we're going to QB contain. That's literally it, I just QB contain. Now I notice that we have this little bluff blitz or three rec hook zone. And if you watch at the snap of the ball, if I stand about right here, he's gonna kind of fake. And then what you'll see is you get these really nice contains. Now, what I wanna show you from a blitzing perspective is if you actually tinker with where you stand, you can actually make this look like not a blitz at all and you'll get some really interesting pressure. So if I kind of stand back here, and I'm just gonna run down really quick, and what you see is you get this really speed, um, speedy edge rush from the right side of the screen. Now that's not the only thing that you get on this, I'll talk about the next thing in just a second, but if you take a look here, we're gonna get this really unique speed rush off of the right side. He's gonna kind of look like he's gonna be blocked, and then he will literally um, instantly shed. And this has to do with this bluff blitz. If you really look closely at the tackle, watch his eyes, you'll see that he's gonna look, see that see that little glance at that, that three wreck, and then you get this edge rush from Rashawn Gary. So we can kind of build around this and make this uh, really interesting. So uh, what I like to do is press QB contain, and then what we're gonna do on this left side is we're going to drop this guy into a zone of our choice and again we're just going to run straight down now what you'll see with this is we're still going to get this really cool edge rush we're also going to get this interior rush that is really really effective now you can do this all the while running a whatever you want on the back end of this for example one of my favorite defenses is a mabel to this backside, and then we're going to man up right here this allows us to play really solid mabel coverage we have a third for protection over the top and then we're just going to basically use the running back and again what you'll see is this really nice little edge rush combined with a shed d um, that i think is really really effective now you can do this um, we know this about 335 wide one of the things that a lot of people are attracted to about this defense is the fact that you can get probably the best personnel in madden on the field and what i mean by that is you can get the safeties at the linebacker position so i'm going to come out in 335 normal and i'm going to audible into 335 wide so you see here audible into 335 wide we're just going to stand just to the left of the center just like this qb contained most people don't think this really causes any pressure and again you're seeing these really glitchy pass offs that just occur just by literally containing and that's it now if you wanted to guarantee your pressure what i like to tell people is to crash your lineup and qb contained and what you'll see is you'll get this five man that we've all probably been accustomed to using at some point in the madden season but what's really interesting about this is the tight end route is kind of open, um, especially like a tight end to the wheel. So what we can do is we can man the tight end up with this defender right here. And again, you're gonna notice how good these pass offs are and how quickly the defense is going to shed to come in at the quarterback. One last little piece uh, with this is how you can do this from other sets. So what we can do is we can go ahead and crash our line down. We're gonna bluff blitz the D tackle 
on the right side or the DN on the right side, we're gonna stay in about the same location. And a lot of times you can get some A-gap pass-offs and things like that. And you see how these rushes are very much so quickly shedding the quarterback. And the other thing I wanna point out is that this four-man rush can be done from a lot of different things. Now, again, I also really like to man this guy up on the running back or do something with this backside guy. I think that it does help the pressure. It helps every piece of this defense. And the beauty of this is you can still Mabel out on this. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you as well is with the cover four show two, you're gonna see that I can basically do the same thing. So you can see here, I'm in the cover four quarters. What we're going to do is we're going to blitz our linebackers, QB contain, and then we're gonna basically purple this linebacker, shade our coverage up to create this, and then we're gonna be the three wreck in the middle of the field. And what you'll see is once again, these glitchy pass rushes, and you can still play your match defense accordingly. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you with the cover four match, and this is my favorite way to run this right now, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna globally list our linebackers, QB contain. Then we're going to purple zone our D end, and then most importantly, we're going to bluff blitz that defensive end on the right. So you see, this is how the defense looks. This is your traditional cover four match or cover four quarters. And as you can see, we're gonna get these nice shed angles. They're not gonna be able to roll out of the pocket and you're gonna see how good the defense can work for you. So this is just a little tactic out of 335 wide that I thought I would share with you. It's best out of the Mike Blitz 3. But what's cool about it is you can get these bluff blitzes, which are really helpful for things like match defense. And the further back you stand, the actually the better shed angles you're going to get. And you can get some really glitchy pressure. I want to thank you for watching this video. I'll show you one more time again. Just contain. And then you're going to stand kind of backed off. If you want to learn my rest of my 335 wide stuff, I'd really encourage you to get into the Patreon. We have everything broken down in depth over there. How to stop the run. How to stop pass. How to run match. How to run man. How to adjust to stop bunch, trips, all the good stuff. If you want to check out that defense, there's a link in the description below. Mess around with this pressure. Let me know what you think. I actually think this pressure works a little better if you come out in 335 wide as normal as opposed to audibly to it because you're going to get that nice edge rush angle which is really advantageous especially if you have the edge threat ability thanks for watching the video and if you want to check out the rest of the defense the link is down in the description to go join the membership for just 10 bucks you get everything thanks for watching if you want to sign up for it head down to the description below